In this video, I'm going to show you how to take great photos at home of your products like this travel mug, all with just your smartphone. And make sure to stay till the end of this video because I have a giveaway. Hey there, my name is Elle McCann, and if you are new here, I've been a Shopify expert for over six years now. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. And if you've been a subscriber to this channel for a while, hey, thanks so much for watching, and I'm glad to see you for another video. Okay, so in this video, I have two different ways where you can actually take really great product photography from the comfort of your own home with just a smartphone. No need for a super expensive fancy camera. You can actually do both of these at home with just a smartphone and a little bit of styling. So before I actually go into the tutorial of how to take these photos at home, I first wanna mention how important it is to have your own product photography. I get this question so many times from people, especially that are drop shipping of, why do I need to take my own photos? I can just use the ones from the manufacturer that I'm drop shipping with. However, there's a couple issues with this. First off, a lot of times the photos aren't very good. Also, if someone else is drop shipping the same products, they're gonna have the same images. So that's the same images for your ads and on your website as well. Plus also it's super important, especially if you're drop shipping, to actually order the products first so you can test the quality of them, see how it is whenever it comes to you and is being delivered like you're the actual customer. And then you have the products that you can then use to take photos like this at home and use for social media as well. So I highly recommend whether you are drop shipping your products or using print on demand or you're making them yourself, that you really take the time to think about what kind of product photography is really gonna stand out both on your website, in your email campaigns, and your advertising for your products to really stand you apart from your competition. Okay, so let's jump into the tutorial part of this video now. So as I mentioned, I have two different options and both are really easy and cost effective for you as well. This first option, I found a roll of white contact paper from Amazon. And the way that this is gonna be styled is it's gonna just be your product on a white backdrop. So this could be nice as a first intro shot of a product on your site. So that way, all of your product photography matches on that first initial photo on like a collection page of your different products. So it's really easy to get this set up. I'll put a link in the description below of where I actually got this contact paper from on Amazon if you're interested in checking it out. So to do this, you are going to just simply tape the contact paper to a wall. I definitely recommend masking tape so that it can easily be pulled off or painter's tape. And you're gonna tape this to a wall so that it drapes down onto a table or the floor or some kind of a flat surface. From there, you can actually put your product in and try out different photo angles. And you may even wanna rotate your product around so that you get different shots and viewpoints of this product that you can also have as multiple images on your site. Now, this tip in terms of lighting goes for both videos. I recommend either using window light that is more soft and not direct or using a box light set. So you can do this to add extra light to a space, especially if it's either dark outside or dark in your space that you're shooting this in. One thing to keep in mind though, is that you really don't want to use overhead lighting because a lot of times that's just gonna cast kind of a yellow shadow on it all. And for a product when you're trying to get, you know, either if the product has white in it or you're really trying to make the background white just kind of disappear once it's on your site, you wanna make sure that it doesn't come off yellow and that you're getting really nice lighting for it. So whenever you're taking the photos with your phone, you wanna just make sure you have your smartphone on good quality settings. Now this is gonna be different for each phone, so I can't really give too much into that, but you wanna actually go into your phone settings and make sure that you have it set up for nice HD photos and you could even do that for videos as well if you're gonna be taking video shots. You also wanna just make sure that you're constantly looking at your product as you're taking the photos and that you're not casting any harsh shadows across it either by you stepping in front or just from how the lighting is going. My tip here is to take a lot of different photos. You can always go back and delete ones where maybe they didn't work out or it was a little bit blurry. You can try using a tripod or just using your hands and your arms and holding really steady, 
whatever works for you. It makes it really easy by just taping this paper up on the wall and you are good to go of taking those first white backdrop photos. Now you don't wanna just have white backdrop photos. These are not gonna convert well in ads and it's also nice to have images on your site that are in different kind of lifestyle settings, either from your, for your homepage banner or your product page. And you definitely wanna do that for your ads. So a great way to do this is with some products from a company that I found called Replica Surfaces. And they've actually agreed to partner with us for a giveaway for this video. So make sure to stay tuned and I'll tell you a little bit more information about that in just a minute. So the products, if you take a look on their website, they have a lot of different surface styles. So you can check out and purchase some of these different tiles and then use them as backdrops. So it's not gonna be a white backdrop, you have this stand that you're making. So you can put together a few of these and create your own different backsplashes for products. So this is a great way to actually stylize your products. So you can put your products in there and also think about any additional props that you may want to add to the photo. So if it's coming up upon a certain holiday season or a certain time of year, or maybe it just relates really nicely to your product, you can add that in the shot as well and try different angles for this as well. So you could do a top down view or a side view, all changing in different props to see what really pops and makes your product look great. This is especially cool for product photos because product photos are typically a lot smaller. So you can really fit it in the space nicely and stylize everything around it. So the same is true for lighting. You wanna make sure that you are not casting any harsh shadows and that you have great lighting that's not using overhead lights for this so that you get the best quality photos. Take a bunch of different shots again and play around with it. See what really works best. You may have an idea in your mind of what really works and maybe it doesn't translate. However, if you take a bunch of shots and you're playing around with it, you can then find a couple photos that work really well and you can use across your website, social media, and advertising campaigns. So this is a great way, again, of still just using just your smartphone and taking really great stylized photos at home. I'm sure your audience will never be able to tell that you're actually doing this from your home with a smartphone and it's gonna just look like you have hired a professional photographer to take some product shots for you, which is really cool. So as I mentioned before, Replica Surfaces is partnering with us to do a giveaway for this video and they are giving away a $150 gift card to their online store. So I really recommend going to their site and taking a look at some of the different surfaces that they have available. And if you're interested in participating in the giveaway, I'm gonna put a link in the description below of where you can go, but you can just go to curiousthemes.com backslash giveaway and you can enter there. There's a couple different ways to enter the giveaway and get bonus entries for sharing or liking different pages on social media. So make sure to check that out. It's only gonna be running for about a week. So if you've caught this video late, I'm sorry, but you should definitely still check them out and see all the different designs of surfaces that they have available. Okay, so I would love to hear what you think. What option are you going to be doing for product photography for your site? And what props do you think would work best to highlight with in your product shots? I would love for you to comment below and let us know. And also if you do take some photos for your site, make sure to also pop a link below as well and we would love to check it out. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, make sure to consider subscribing. We post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to enter that giveaway. Link below, link below, and I'll see you next time.